Okay, so here we go, guys. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Minecraft minifigures. And uh, this is going to be the first series, and it's a three pack. So basically, I just randomly found these at Walmart. I had no plans in getting them whatsoever, but when I found them. I figured, you know, what the heck, I might as well get them, is because I, I did love trash packs when they were around, and I still would like them, but the reason I quit trash packs uh, is mainly due to the, because there's just too much stuff to collect, and it's too hard to get and stuff like that. But anyway, this is Minecraft, so it's going to be more readily available or widely available to uh, you know certain distributors distributors and things like that and as far as I know this is a pretty new thing it says copyright 2014 on the box I believe and yes it does so this is a fairly new product and uh, yeah but I'll just let this unboxing footage play and then I'll get right into it okay so let's just talk about the price first off I think it was seven ninety seven or somewhere around $8 plus tax at Walmart. Now that's pretty steep considering that you're only getting these three uh, figures right here and uh, actually you could get three different packs. There's uh, a pack with this guy, a pack with those dudes which is what I have, these dudes and these dudes right here. So there's four different three packs and uh, I'll get to, 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 into the collecting thing a little bit more later but um, they these cost $8 for three of them and that's somewhere around um, two fifty a piece, including tax, at least in my area. That's somewhere around two dollars and fifty cents a piece, which is pretty darn steep, if you think about it. But I will say that these are actually built pretty darn well and thought out very well, and I really like them a lot. Uh, first off, these are not squishy. They're not like trash packs or squinkies. They're a hard rubber. If you can hear that. Mm. I'll bend the dog's tail a little bit, you can see, but they are a hard rubber, and I will definitely say that this detail on these things is pretty amazing, actually. They got this guy pretty good. Let's see if I can get him. Sorry for the weird lighting. I'm having trouble lighting places, but uh, you can see these, yeah, these guys are very detailed, and uh, this is actually the main reason I got this pack, because being close to Halloween and such, you can see. There's just a very great amount of detail, and it's pretty darn accurate, actually. Which is probably why they chose the hard rubber. Now, actually, one thing I was worried about here is the uh, little uh, block of dirt that this Enderman's holding and how it was attached. It's actually not attached to his hands. I don't know if I can get this right here. But you can see his hand is actually not attached to the block. Neither is his other hand over here. Oops, sorry. There's his other hand over there. It's actually attached to his body down here. It's a completely separate piece as well. So there's no color bleed or paint bleed or anything like that. It's very clean and very separate looking. They really did take their time and think think this out. I'm just going to give you a 360 of this guy. And he actually stands up very, very well. I mean, if you sit him on the table, he will stand up very easily. The aid of his little dirt block there is helping him stand up. But I'm very impressed by, they really did think out the stability issue with the Enderman. And uh, this is a very good solution because it looks very fine. And here, uh, I'll give you a 360 of the wolf here. I like that. And uh, my favorite from this is the snowman pumpkin dude. Now you can see a little bit of blemish right there. But uh, that's to be expected with this, but it's very, very high quality. I mean, even even like this, just to, if you can see that, there's just a little tilt in the pumpkin's neck right there. And it's it's just it makes it not as Minecrafty and a little more cartoony, which I absolutely love. But every all of them are very good stability-wise. You would have no problem putting these on a, on flat surfaces whatsoever. You wouldn't have them. You, know, you wouldn't have problems with them uh, stand, falling down or anything like that. And actually, one thing that I noticed on the packaging here, it's kind of interesting. I don't know, but you see those that cluster of five holes right here? Right here? I don't know. That Those look a little bit like vent holes to me. Um, smelling them, they are actually pretty darn smelly if you put your nose up to them. And that might... Uh, I don't know why they did that. Maybe because you wouldn't get a big waft of fumes as soon as you open the package. It does kind of make sense, though. It's because then it doesn't feel like you're poisoning yourself 
or anything like that. It's kind of interesting, but I'm pretty sure there's no vent holes in the bottom. Uh, another thing to note is that this is made by Mattel. Oops, sorry. This is made by Mattel right here, uh, in case you were wondering. And um, this is the Series 1 Grass Series, as you can see up top there. So I'm going to guess that they're going to go into different blocks and stuff like that. Uh, but there's four different kinds of three packs, and then in each three pack there is an exclusive figure that only comes in three packs. For this one, it's a spider. Um, for this one, it's the pig. For this one, it's the wolf. For this one, it's a witch. And then you can, there's also, which I have not found yet, otherwise I would have gotten one, is uh, the one packs. And then these four right here are the only one that can only be found in the one packs. And the one packs are, of course, random as usual. So, what is my conclusion on these things? Well, I really, honestly, really like them. They basically serve the purpose pretty darn well. I was just going to set them on my desk, and uh, I really can't say much, but I like them a lot. And you like Minecraft, pick them up, because uh, they're a little expensive, but they're I really like them, and I can't wait to get some more of them. So, uh, if you like this video, click the like button, comment below, got any questions, and uh, subscribe, of course. I do a whole bunch of videos, and I'm planning to do more random videos, but... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you all next video.